Welcome friends, it's your boy old Bearby here for another video, and this time we're going to take a look at my comic book card collection from the 1990s, a golden age of comic cards. Um, well I think the, com the golden age of comic books was from 1938 to 1956. Oh, uh, that was comic books, Tommy Bear. We're talking about comic book cards. Is there a golden age for comic book cards? Hmm. Well, uh, maybe not, but now there is. You heard it here first, folks. The golden age of comic book cards was in the early to mid 1990s. Well, let's get those comic book card albums out. And here we are, my comic book card collection. As you can see, I have two albums full of comic cards. Let's take a look. Here yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Now, I should say at the beginning, I'm more of a Marvel bear, so... I'm going to have more Marvel cards than anything else. And here we have the Marvel Masterpieces. They were really masterpieces, you know? Like you had a famous artist draw portraits of these superheroes. Let's see, who do we have here? Spider-Man and Omega... Omega Red, the guy with the tentacles, not to be confused with Dr. Octopus, okay, uh, and there's our hero, our leader, Captain America, yes. Uh, I think you should turn the page now, Bill. Oh, right, <laughs> we've got a lot to look through here, I'll try to keep it brief. You know, we used to trade these comic cards all the time. And it was a lot of fun. Oh, there's the Black Panther. He's one of my favorites. And Red, oh, look at Red Skull. Uh, whoa, what happened to him? Shatterstar. He had two swords and he was a time traveler. Bishop, another time traveler. He was pretty popular along with Cable as far as time traveling. I wish they had more of that in the X-Men Apocalypse movie. Yeah, me too. Those were cool comic books. You know, you could really learn a lot about comic books just from these cards by reading the back. And you could learn about, uh, sometimes the artist, I think. Ooh, Ghost Rider. Ghostly. Wow, these are pretty good. More Marvel masterpieces. Cable. Another time traveler from the future. And the Scarlet Spider. That was from a series that wasn't too popular, well, isn't too popular nowadays. But I thought it was great. Clones, Clone Saga or something. I didn't like it too much. Then Dark Claw from the Amalgam series. That was after, uh, yeah, what was it? It was after DC vs. Marvel, you know, the two series, uh, the two comic book companies merged. Uh, not the two comic book companies, Tommy Bear. I think it was a... Uh, the two storylines, monstrosities, formed when Marvel and DC come together. Abominations, like the hyena. Imagine the jo if the Joker's uh, DNA were combined with, uh, I forget the DC characters. Here we have some DC comic cards, not many. Uh, Lex Luthor, is that you? Wow, you're not looking too great these days, those days. 
Moving ahead, sorry DC. Oh, there's some pretty cool characters here. There's Two-Face looking a lot like uh, Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> These look a little like the, the, the artwork. Reminds, kind of reminds me of uh, Marvel Masterpieces. Oh, that was, that was a cool time. Oh, uh, was that uh, after the death of Superman? Yeah, that was it. And all these uh, freaks tried to be Superman for a while. You, uh, the thing, you know, the thing I didn't like about these DC cards is that they didn't usually have the power levels. That's what I'm all about, power levels. Galactus is going to eat the planets. Let's give him a hamburger. We can send Bruce Willis up with a giant hamburger if Galactus comes. Here, have this hamburger instead. Uh, I don't, I, I don't think that'll work, baby. Oh, there they are, the canvas cards. They had a really interesting surface. You could run your finger over them and they felt like, uh, sandpaper? Is that supposed to feel like a, a canvas that artists paint on? I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's cool because you, it's like it has an extra dimension. Dr. Doomsday. Oh, that's a uh, amalgam. That's a combination of uh, Dr. Doom and Doomsday from DC. What a, what a monstrosity. Okay, let's just put this one back into its place here. There we go. Oop. By the way, what's even scarier than Thanos? Thanos seed. A combination of Thanos and Dark Side. Oh, oh, I guess it's pronounced Thanos Side. I never really got that. It doesn't look like it sounds like side. And there's Dark Claw. Cool Batman meets the Wolverine. Okay, more canvas cards. I really like those a lot. That's why they're up front. One of the first. Oh, and a shiny metal. Um, that's not the Marvel Metal series, Bear. That's uh, Marvel Flare Annual. Marvel Metal. It looks looks more like even more like metal. Okay. Ooh. Shiny. I think I bought these for, I think they were $10. But now they're probably $8. Isn't that sad? Why isn't there more of a demand for comic cards anyway? You have some comic cards nowadays, but yeah, they're not as popular. No one's really uh, talking about them as much. Well, it's time to bring it back, Tommy Bear. You still got your collection, right? Uh, I just sold mine on eBay. Sorry. Yeah, alright, well, never too late to build. Especially because they're still, uh, they're cheaper than they were, which doesn't make any sense. It's supposed to be, a, they're supposed to be collector's items. Wait a minute, what's Darth Vader doing in here? You're not a comic book character. I believe that was for the Star Wars comic books. Yes. Wow, you sounded like Master Yoda for a second there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay, that was in the future. Marvel future, people. And everything. Oh, these are cool. They all went together into one big picture. So if you had teams, they were perfect. Moon Knight. There's Galactus again with some super-powered weirdos. Oh, Thanos, Green Hand. And these had the power levels too. Very cool. Take that, DC fandom. Where's your power levels? That's probably because Superman would beat everybody. There's no point in putting power levels on those cards. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
And the Silver Surfer, one of my favorites. I want uh, to get a surfboard someday. Oh, really? Well, maybe not. Let's see about his power. Strength 4, Intelligence 4, uh, Strength 7, Intelligence 4, Speed 7, Energy Projection 7. Oh, I can't read it. Well, we'll talk about that later. Mr. Sinister, very sinister, with his cape. That's a very, that's a sinister cape, isn't it? You want it to look bad? Just shred your cape up into pieces. And you're the worst in the bunch. Well, one of the worst. Hey, oh, I don't remember that guy. Looks like something from Stranger Things. <laughs> Cobweb. Marvel character no one knows about. I'm uh, sure some people would know about him. Maybe so. But he's not very popular. Mo mo uh, Molecule Man. Underrated. More of these. What's the name of this series again? Marvel Skybox, 1993. And these were interesting. Wolverine vs. Sabretooth. Thor vs. Loki. Classic battles. Ooh, Wolverine vs. Cyber. Hey, wasn't that the guy that broke Wolverine's claws? Yeah, I think so, Tommy Bear. That was when Magneto uh, took the metal out of Wolverine's body. And then he had bone, bones like the rest of us. He was a mere mortal with healing powers. And, uh, well, he got his bone, he got his uh, claws broken by this guy with adamantium arms. There's Black Widow, and uh, some guy from the future. The Beast. And these were the cosmic beings. They were very powerful. Really, they're, uh, they were all sevens. That was as much as you could get. Lots of team-ups. The pun like the Punisher and Spider-Man. Colossus. Metal skin. Makes me immune to sunburn. And uh, other things. Okay, here are the Marvel Metal. You were right, Tommy Bear. Fleer Ultra X-Men. Ah. Hey, wasn't that Age of Apocalypse? Yes, the, that's right, Tommy Bear. Age of Apocalypse. When the baddie Apocalypse took over the Earth. Uh, because uh, uh, Charles Xavier, uh, his son went back in time. Le Legion, wasn't it? That's right. Legion went back in time and... Uh, well, you know the rest. His father was gone. Xavier was no more. And the land was in chaos. Yes, and Wolverine is looking even grungier than ever. Uh, more uh, people from X-Force. Warpath and Feral. Wow, these are really amazing. Artwork. Fancy. Gambit. Shiny card. That shiny card could explode, you know. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. A little bit of comic book on your card. So if you didn't get enough comic in your comic book, you can flip these over and get a little more in your comic card. That's for the people who just, uh, they, they want a little more of the comic book. There's a profile of Apocalypse. And I think that was from the... Oh yes, from the animated series. One of our favorites, Tommy Bear. You remember that one, right? Yes, I remember that. 
And there's Rogue from the animated series. And these uh, have the profile. You're looking at a profile of Apocalypse. More of the masterpieces. Jean Grey, one of the most powerful mutants in the universe. Punisher looking like a... he's posing for a painting with a gun. Spider-Man, I hope you enjoy that look at my comic card collection from the 1990s, the golden age of comic book cards. That's debatable. Well, we have more videos to come. I, uh, before we go though, I should check in with Robot. Uh, Tommy Bear, can you go get Robot? We have a, we have to see how that research is going on the Super Mario, History of Super Mario video. It's going, okay. Wow, how did you do that? That wasn't part of the itinerary. You were supposed to just walk into the camera and tell us. I pushed a button. That was it? Yes. Don't think too much about it. Your head will fall off. You humans are fragile. Oh dear. Well, do update us soon about the research for our historical video on the development of Super Mario. Okay. Thank you, Richard. It's Rocky. Rocky Robot. Well, that's all for now. Don't forget to put a paw on that like button and subscribe. And check out our Patreon in the description if you want to help us out more. We'll be seeing you in the future. Okay.